This weekend, my parents took us to the Hula Valley. Quite a remarkable place, located north of the country, about an hour and a half drive from Nazareth. We are in Hula. This is a beautiful valley in the north of Israel. It starts all the way up north at Tel Dan and goes all the way 30 kilometers south to Tel Hazor, which is Hazor. It is mentioned in Joshua 11 um, yeah. at the um, separation of the land or the divisions of the land between the Israelite tribes. That's right. So this is a biblical place and it always has been. Even Josephus Flavius mentioned this place. This place is best known for its mass bird migration. Every year, 500 million birds fly through this place. Yep, they make a stop here and then they continue their way onto warmer places. It's awesome. I hope to see at least 2 million today. There is something swimming there. It's not a bird, but I don't know what oh. that thing is. Oh, wow! Wait, wait. Let that me... was a babior, babior. It's the first time in my life I see a beaver. Really? Except that it was no beaver. It was a koipu, a rodent, that did not seem to like the peanuts that Rhoda gave him. Whoa. So interesting story about this place. In 1950s, when the Jews started resettling this land, this whole valley was full of swamps. It was one giant swamp. So they said, hey, we got technology to dry the swamps out. So they started drying the swamps and they noticed something. Well, from one hand, it was great that they dry the swamps because now they could plant fields in here, start agriculture, even move in and live here. But from the other hand, the problem was that the natural habitat decreased for these birds and animals and that hurt the migration of the birds and started hurting the ecological eco-balance. So what they did is they started a national fund to preserve this area. So a certain part of the valley they declared as the national park and they restored the swamps. Back in 1951 it was kind of a crazy idea to say, hey let's preserve the swamp. What? but apparently it was very necessary for this area. Unfortunately, this time, we did not get to see many birds. It seems like it was not the season yet. So Rhoda and I drove here again a month later in a hope to see those millions of birds that everybody's talking about. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see And after hiking for two miles around the lake, once again, we were so disappointed to see only a few birds around. We found snakeskin here which means this field might have some snakes. I'll tell you which snake this is. One that doesn't smell good. We meant to be. But then on our way out, we saw a car and a man inside of it 
who motioned with his hand to come closer. He opened the window and he told us, do you want to see something beautiful? Then he picked up a giant scope with a laser on it and he started pointing the laser at the horizon. And then all of a sudden, Maybe. No, Distance? No, he's doing something. <gasps> he scares them with a laser? No way. Okay. I don't know. They're all flying, babe. Yeah. They're all flying. Look at that, like a domino. Unbelievable. They're like ants in the air. Unbelievable. This is too cool to be true. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at what's happening there! Like <laughs> this is insane! Incredible. I mean, think about it. Israel is such a small land in the world, and yet half a billion birds choose it as their resting place during the migration time. Incredible, isn't it? Wow. All right, so um, before I go, I'm going to leave you with this question. Tomorrow, we're going to film the next episode, and it's based on Psalm 133. So the question is, where are we going? If you think you can guess it, comment below. So, see you next time.